Hey guys, it's Jasmine. Today, I think is the day, or it's the day before the day, that our son is born. Yes. We're about to become parents. Okay, let me give you the play-by-play. -play. So I'm not having contractions right now, but my water, I'm almost 100% sure broke. So on Friday, I had my doctor's appointment, my 38 week, I'm 39 weeks and a day today. It is April 18th right now, which is funny enough my brother's birthday. So on Friday I had my appointment and my doctor did a stretch and sweep or a membrane sweep um, because he's a pretty big baby and she just wants to get things started. So I got that done and then I just had mild spotting which was from the sweep. And then on Saturday at 9.40 in the morning I had my bloody show it was like a lot of mucus and like red blood and then I didn't have any like bleeding after that and then basically then on Friday I had um, contractions that were seven minutes apart lasting like 30 seconds those could have just been from the stretch and sweep and like pains because nothing like that was consistent because I've had contractions but very very mild ones just feeling like a little bit like a period cramp um, for the past couple days and then nothing happened just waiting 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 and then today is Wednesday just going about my day like I <laughs> for the past couple days I've been walking and everything every single day like trying to get things started and then today we're just going about the day and then so it is 440 right now 445 about an hour ago I was sitting down and I stood up and I felt a gush like a small gush and I set up and I looked at Noah I said I don't think I just peed so basically you know what that means so I went to the bathroom and I checked and then um, I put a pad on just because I'm like I wanted to see if it would keep happening and I wanted to see if it was clear and if it had a smell and stuff so I put a pad on and now I keep getting gushes so I'm almost 100% that it's my water and I'm not just peeing and I'm not I'm sure this isn't like just a lot of discharge because it's getting a lot of gushes and a lot of just leaking and everything so I called the hospital and we're going in to get checked to see if my water broke and if it did we're having a baby today or tomorrow um, and if contractions don't start soon then I have to get on Pitocin anyway so if my water broke baby is coming and that's pretty much that so I'll keep you updated we are at McDonald's that's what you do when you're in labor. You go to McDonald's. The things you chose to eat before pregnancy. <laughs> and McDonald's. Pregnancy mean, approved. McDonald's. The nurse literally told us to eat first, so McDonald's. Enjoy your last meal inside, my child. This is true. We just got to the hospital and we're about to go in and see what's up. I'm excited and nervous at the same time, so pray for me. They left me all alone in the pregnancy room. There's the torture chair. Ah, uh, garbage can. And me. Confirmed that her water broke. She did not pee herself. But now we wait. She ran off. This is where the magic happens. It's another woman giving birth. I feel terrible. I'm a dude, I don't have to give birth. Well, another woman just gave birth. Her child is 
screaming for joy. He's been brought into this world. I am 0% nervous, other than the fact that something could happen to our baby, because I don't have to push out a child. I have absolutely infinite amount of respect for women, especially Jasmine, because I gotta push out a child. Pumpkin has to come out of you. Nothing in the world could top that, no pain could top that. I have so much respect for women because in the end, in the case that they do have a child, they have a child. A mother of all pains. They're becoming a mother, experiencing the mother of all pains. I can't even imagine how much pain you're gonna be in. I can never He's imagine. <laughs> He's zoomed in so far. They've tied you down. That's him. That's him. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Mom, please. Oh, you kick. They just gave us the boot. We have to go to a new room. There's another pregnant woman coming over. She's taking over our room. So. She checked my cervix, and I'm pretty sure it's still the same as it was on Friday. And I don't have contractions, so I'm probably definitely gonna have to be induced, like put on Pitocin. Because I've had no contractions yet, but my water's definitely broken. So that's just fun and peachy. It's me again. So they're gonna induce her labor. We're gonna stay overnight because her water broke. So we're gonna get our bags. Gonna make a bed. Let me wait. So, the doctor had to do another procedure before she can check us. And they might have to put me on oxytocin if my contractions don't start. So we're walking, seeing if they're gonna start, going back in half an hour. If they're not started, then I'm probably gonna have oxytocin. Show them your sweet move. Super comfy. Okay, so it's currently 10.37. At 10.34, she put in the IV. And I'm not having contractions yet other than tightening. Um, but nothing I can really feel, so I'm on oxytocin, which is up there. Ta-da. So, the contractions can be starting in half an hour, but it could be more. And then... I don't know how long it will take after that until he's born. Hopefully not too long, but I'm planning on getting the epidural. <laughs> okay, so it's been a while since the last update. It's 1.36 and I haven't updated in a while just because I haven't been progressing. But at 1.28, I finally started to feel like a period cramp sensation. So I'm finally starting to feel contractions. They're not terrible, but they're very like intense period cramp type feelings. And that one lasted 25 seconds, but they're pretty close together. They're like three minutes apart, something like that. So I really hope this isn't a long labor because we've already been here for like over seven hours and stuff just started happening, other than my water breaking. So yeah. Big pain. It's so hard to remember to breathe. I just want to hold my breath while it's happening. I'm tired. Big pain. Mm. 
I decided that I wanted the epidural and the contractions there was just no build up all of a sudden they were all just like over the half line or to the top of like how intense they were and it was just <laughs> so hard to deal with so I asked for the epidural and he came and he did it it was not really painful it was just really uncomfortable like it felt like someone putting wires in my back not fun but now, I'm the most relaxed I've ever been in my entire life. And this bed is really comfy for a hospital bed. Technically, I know that I am on drugs, but I feel like I'm on drugs, if you know what I mean. <laughs> also, I want to show you the thing in my back, but I can't move right now. Um, because she wants me to lay down. Look, they locked it. <laughs> like, patients steal epidurals and pawn them off on the black market. I, I understand why. I'm so relaxed right now. <laughs> gas and whatever this thing is. This is the worst pain of my life when I'm shaking. And it's only on the right side, so I hope he comes back and that he fixes it. Big pain. And my blood pressure is getting taken now. <laughs> his head. Are you filming? Yeah. Um, I'm 10 centimeters dilated and I just did a test, test push and they saw his head. So I'm about to start pushing. <laughs> and I'm so scared. You're gonna have to hold up my leg. I know. He my looked like a, kind of looked like a, like I a mini slug. <laughs> Alright, I gotta find another sneaky position. Oh, 
babies. <laughs> so sad. He can lift his head up. Babies are not supposed to be able to do that. He's ripped. He's so strong. That's from all that kung fu in the womb. <laughs> oh, I know you're hungry. I know you're hungry. I know. I will feed you. I need to wait for the nurse. You have stories to tell. <laughs> Just one time in the womb. <laughs> Do you see that? Do you get that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this little bean was in me for nine months. Big bitty. He sounds exactly how I thought he was gonna sound. He sounds so cute. I know, you know these other babies? They have like their own sound. He has the his own sound. sound. He sounds so like calm. He sounds chill. Yeah. Very relaxed. <laughs> what are you fighting? What are you fighting? Oh, what do you have to say? Oh, he's fighting, that's why it's... Close to his face. He's so cute. 